starship brings to mind grand visions. Colonizing Mars, landing humans on the moon, these are pivotal ventures shaping its future. But Starship's potential transcends these visions. Recognizing this, the U.S. Space Force stands at the forefront. Amid escalating space security concerns, leveraging SpaceX's Starship stands as a pinnacle in fortifying their authority and impact. Space exploration is undeniably crucial for the U.S. and humanity as a whole. However, the significance of national and international security cannot be overstated. It poses both a challenge and an opportunity for SpaceX and Starship. Join us on today's episode of Great SpaceX as we delve deeper into this realm. Starship, since its unveiling last decade, has transformed the aerospace realm, yet orbit remains an unattained milestone. Nevertheless, it continues its steady strides forward, unveiling immense potential across various faucets. Heralded as the largest rocket globally, towering at 121 meters tall and boasting a 9 meter diameter, it dethroned the iconic Saturn V, a record holder for decades. Starship's grand design envisions hauling payloads of up to 150 tons to orbit and ferrying as many as 100 pioneers to Mars, fostering rapid settlement upon reaching the Red Planet. Not just colossal, Starship reigns supreme as the most powerful rocket, fueled by the mighty Raptor 2 engine, generating a jaw-dropping thrust of 230 tons. Witnessed during its November integrated test flight, this power preview is just a teaser, as the forthcoming Raptor 3 promises even more groundbreaking achievements. Efficiency is Starship's forte, championing cost optimization through ingenious design choices, such as stainless steel construction, methane fuel, and so much more. These innovations significantly slash expenses. Moreover, its entire vehicle reusability stands unmatched in the industry, elevating cost-effectiveness to new heights. This allure isn't lost on the USSF, which relishes the prospect of an efficiently operating vehicle at an exceptionally affordable cost, particularly given the already substantial defense budget. Given its exceptional advantages, Starship presents a myriad of prospects for future development. Currently, Spain SpaceX collaborates with governmental entities on critical projects, notably the National Security Space Launch Program, or the NSSL. Securing the Phase 2 contract in 2020 from the USSF, SpaceX undertakes the responsibility of launching pivotal assets, which are satellites, space planes, and vital equipment for both the USSF and other governmental agencies. Within this program, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy are the primary vehicles SpaceX employs. This month, the Falcon Heavy will embark on a mission to propel the USSF's X-37B space plane into orbit, a task outlined in the contract. Beyond the USSF, SpaceX engages with another significant body, the US Air Force. Early in 2022, SpaceX secured a five-year, $102 million contract from the USAF. The deal focuses on showcasing technologies and capabilities for transporting military supplies and humanitarian aid globally using heavy rockets. SpaceX's rocket is entrusted with the responsibility of ferrying military logistics including cargo, equipment, medical provisions, and even personnel worldwide to bolster the U.S. military's efforts in national and international missions. This landscape presents numerous prospects for Starship. The NSSL Phase 2 contract spans from 2022 to 2026, followed by Phase 3 scheduled from 2025 to 2029. Despite Starship's ongoing quest to reach orbit, its potential for success remains promising. Further tests are slated for the upcoming year, aiming to facilitate its orbit attainment and subsequent stable operation. Compared to the Falcon line of rockets, Starship holds a multitude of advantages in payload capacity, velocity, and cost effectiveness. Should it become operational, Starship could potentially supplant these two rockets in critical ventures like the NSSL, particularly in Phase 3 of the project. The cargo transport contract equally beckons opportunities for Starship. This agreement doesn't stipulate the use of specific vehicles, affording SpaceX the liberty to deliberate and select the most fitting vehicle for the mission. A meticulous evaluation of Starship unveils its alignment with the prerequisites outlined in this contract. SpaceX had previously unveiled Starship's Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel capability, promising global circumnavigation in under an hour. This feature perfectly 
aligns with the urgent needs of the U.S. military for challenging missions. Coupled with its payload capacity and thrust capabilities, Starship can execute supply runs across the globe faster than any existing aircraft or rocket, a crucial asset for reinforcing the U.S. military's capabilities and accomplishing arduous tasks. Moreover, SpaceX is poised to explore numerous other mission opportunities in the foreseeable future. Those opportunities indeed present substantial potential for SpaceX and Starship. The crucial question remains, will they seize these opportunities or let them pass by? Though Starship's journey began in earnest in 2019, it has swiftly forged ahead. The spacecraft remains in its testing phase with two integrated flights conducted this year, marking significant progress set to be accelerated in the upcoming years to meet crucial SpaceX deadlines. One imminent milestone is NASA's Artemis project. Utilizing HLS, or Human Landing System, Starship, SpaceX aims to touch down NASA's crew on the lunar surface after over half a century. The inaugural mission, Artemis 3, is slated for late 2025 or early 2026, and undertaking pivotal not just in the space race, but also with far-reaching implications for humanity's future. The subsequent milestone orbits around the Mars Colonization Project, an ambitious aspiration by Elon Musk and SpaceX when conceiving Starship. The remaining years of this decade could see the realization of this objective. Recently, at the International Astronautical Congress, Musk outlined landing the first uncrewed Starship on Mars within the next four years, around 2027, paving the way for successive missions to establish settlements and transport humans to the Red Planet. Both endeavors remain Starship's primary focus. Success in forthcoming test flight missions is essential for their fruition. Yet, juxtaposed against these goals are the imperative national and international security missions. In the face of escalating defense challenges alongside technological advancements, safeguarding not only the U.S. but also global peace and security has become paramount for the military. Contributing to national defense efforts would be an honor for SpaceX and a testament to their commitment. Given the opportunity, leveraging their expertise already evident in creating the HLS variant of Starship for NASA could extend to developing a new Starship for the USSF. Moreover, SpaceX's ambitious plan to produce a Starship daily in the future, primarily for Mars missions, could potentially dedicate a segment to supporting the USSF and the military at large. The course of action hinges on the deliberation of Elon Musk and SpaceX. This choice entails a balancing act, representing both an opportunity and a formidable challenge for their endeavors. Imagining Starship's application in multiple domains beyond lunar or Martian missions is an aspiration shared by SpaceX and fervent Starship enthusiasts. Should this come to pass, it would represent the most compelling response from SpaceX to the query, what drove the creation? of Starship. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up today and become a patron to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up, and happy holidays.